Well, one of our favorite parts of the week is Weather Geek Wednesday to help us break down the science behind, uh, you know, different weather subjects. Microburst is on topic today. Meteorologist Ari Sarsalari is joining us. And Ari, I know you have two videos. My favorite one is the one from Tucson that caused that big haboob last week. I think I watched it like a hundred times. Yeah, I'm still watching this one. I'm still fired up about this video. I know it came out last week, but I've been just watching it nonstop. And I know it came out like Thursday of last week, but I'm like, look, I, I'm still doing this for Weather Geek Wednesday next week. I don't care because it's the, one of the coolest videos I've seen in a really long time. Okay, so you're actually seeing a microburst there. I'm going to point it out in a lot more detail in a minute, but first, let's just kind of personalize this a little bit, right? So how often have you been in the middle of a storm, right? It's just raining, you're hearing some thunder, it's a regular old storm, and then boom, you just get smacked by a big wall of wind, right? And it can be 70 miles an hour, it can be 80 miles an hour, you know, it, it can be up to 100 miles an hour at times, you know, something like this, where you're just getting crushed by wind all of a sudden out of nowhere. And this is video from a couple of years ago, just to kind of show you exactly what it's like when one of these things hits, right? Okay, so what's the process that's going on when you get smacked by wind like that, all right? Well, it's basically a lot of really cold air up in the top of the storm, right? It's a lot of cold rain, a lot of cold air surrounding that rain. It drops down to the ground like a bomb, and then it just shoots out in all directions, right? And if you're out ahead of any of this stuff, that's the wind. That's when you get hit by the wind. All right, so now we've got this amazing view of it. This was taken in Tucson, Arizona. I believe the 8th of August, so a couple of weeks ago. But let's roll the video and check this out from afar. This is a time lapse, all right? And you're going to see this storm dump a whole lot of rain, right? But if you pay close attention to the left side of the rain shaft, you're going to see a small little bomb come out of there of some really cold air that just hits the, look at this right here, boom, and it just hits the ground. So let's roll it back again and see if we can see that, just in case you missed it, okay? Because this is really, really cool. So check this out. Here it comes out of the left side. All right, so here we go. We're going to start it over again. And yeah, you can see the whole thing starting to drop some rain. That in itself will create a little gust of wind, but it's this really compact bomb of cold air that just comes flying out of the left side of this thing. Get ready for it. Here it comes. There it is. Boom. And it hits the ground. You see it shooting out in all directions. That had to be a good solid, you know, 60, 70 mile an hour wind gust. I look back at the storm reports. I didn't see any storm reports. Maybe these guys are just like, hey, this happens all the time. We can deal with it. No big deal. They might, might have just not reported it, but either way, that is some awesome video, and I'm going to continue to be fired up about it for the next little while, Steph. I am too. I, I get, Ari, it's the first time I've ever seen a legit yeah. microburst like that. First you've ever seen too? Yeah. You know, we did a segment on downbursts on Weather Geek Wednesday a couple weeks ago, yeah. and I was looking for, you know, video like this. It's really tough to come by, so that's why it I is. wanted to do it again and kind of show you this awesome video. Dude, you could do it next week. Again, I don't even care. I've watched this for Let's the next, like, <laughs> every Wednesday for the next, you know, three months.